Hi guys and welcome back to another plot review. So today we are actually on Galen 0232's plot, uh, which is a T-plot on the actual server. And this one's called The Village of Osaldurai. And I'm actually joined by... By... Me. A tiny little blue monkey. Th this thing. This thing. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> there we go with that. How's it going, Nick? Uh, things are going good. It's good. So this was requested on the forums. Um, and we're just going to have a wander around. We're going to give some comments. Um, now, it has been a little while because of the Christmas break, so Conquest has changed. For example, these are actually supposed to be bees or fireflies, and they're now lanterns. So um, we'll forgive him for that. Yeah. Should we? Or should we be really mean? Well, he should have kept up to date. He should have known that it was going to get reviewed at some point. <laughs> at some point, yeah. <laughs> um, there you go. So, horse ran away, apparently. But stable-wise, not too bad. Well, if you're not going to have a gate on the stable, it's just obviously yeah. just going to run away. It is, yeah. So I do think it could have done with a gate. Uh, it's a little bit drafty as well. Wow. I think probably some of these blocks could have been just uh, stairs instead. Um, yeah. And these bits, because then it makes a little bit more sense that you know, like a brick's fallen out there or something, rather than it else. But uh, not too bad. I don't like the road, but I always go on about this on pretty much every video now about roads. Well, you might as well go on, go on, go on about the road. Well. Just using the dirt path and the gravel path together, it doesn't tile properly, so it just looks very bad in my opinion. Okay, there you go. Uh, so that's wise words from Nick. Um, I think especially with the dirt slabs here, because you go from heavy dirt into just gravel, grass and <laughs> grass and gravel, and it, it's a bit weird. Yeah. So yeah, I think sticking to one of them is is definitely better. Uh, I like the stone bricks though, because we don't see that often in paths anymore. No, I know, and it's awesome. It's a really good, like, Monster spent ages, I think, probably, just joining these up together, and they all tile really nicely. Yeah. So I think, yeah, definitely I need to use those more anyway. Um, so we've got a field here that's being harvested. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's another field in here, is there? No, so that's the only field. So they're showing that they've, you know, one of them at least is a farmer, or a couple of them are farmers. And uh, I know this brother. isn't, this isn't uh, intended, but because of all the biome stuff on the trees, it actually looks like it's autumn. It does, yeah. It's kind so. of cool. There Maybe it is intended, but I doubt it. Yeah, it could be. You never know. Right, should we go into this first house? Because it's drawing us in. Yeah, let's get in. Uh, so this is a tavern, it's got to be. Or a restaurant, yes. So we've got... Oh, <coughs> feast hall, something. <coughs> something like that. So we've got a big kitchen. The interior feels... Modern. It feels a little bit empty. Because it's quite open. It just doesn't it is. seem too right. And you're cooking herbs over the fire. Yeah, don't you do that. <laughs> Depends what they are. Well, then again, you think about uh, elves, because they are elves. That's true. So they could do oh. that. I've, I've left the building. Left the building. <laughs> like Elvis. I like Elvis. As. There we go. So, big barrel. Pretty simple cellar. Yeah. We actually have the new keg block now as well, so oh we yeah, we do. Place actually, all yeah. these. Well, I'm getting stuck on something. Or is it just yeah. Is there an there's an invisible block? Something there is right there. Oh, it was fire. Shh, run away. <laughs> I'll fix a, it. I'm gonna grab a. Uh... Yeah, you you can fix that while I look around. <laughs> I'll look upstairs. All right. Uh, we use sand and fire, sand. and we'll do it that way. All right. You do it with sand and fire. Same thing. All right, there you go. Where that one? There you go. It's got a bedroom <coughs> up here. It's pretty simple. Not too bad. I think it could, it could definitely have done with some detail going across here because it looks really blocky. Yeah. Um, even like books or a bench and stuff as well around here. Yeah. Just and just or every so often just a beam. It just you know goes across simple stuff like you know that for example would just make it look like supported. Yeah. Just every so often. doesn't even have to be that regular. Just add a little bit more detail on the roof. Uh, and then with those little lights that's actually being pushed through where the, the blocks are showing. That actually make it look a little bit different as you walk past. But that's just me. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we come out into the back here. Do we want to go into the back here? Yeah, we'll go in the yeah, back. We'll go back. Uh, okay. So many jokes going through my head right now. I'm just yep. restraining myself. Yeah. <coughs> right. uh, I like this. Like, just nature yeah. area. A nature area? Where have you gone? Oh, you're there. Yeah. This is kind of cool. I think it could have used a bit more slabs, and obviously we've got the snow now. Uh, the snow 
layers, but yeah, no, it's quite nice actually, isn't it? It's not yeah, too heavy. I, yeah, I'd have put a few of like the strawberry bush metadata and stuff like that in. And the thing that I would do is definitely put in, because it is seeming like autumn. Like we have got autumn. I think he has done it on purpose because it's like every soft and brownish ones. Uh, put in yeah. podsol, but most importantly, the leaf version of grass. Because yeah. I can't see any of it. So it just needs a little sprinkle of it around the trees, not not just everywhere, uh, to actually do that. Cause I, think I always get it. that metadata wrong. I always do two call on two, and then I've got uh, stone yeah, grass stone everywhere. Grass, yeah. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, I agree. I think like a little bit more different different bushes as well, get some colour. Yeah. There you go. Right, let's walk back into town. So down this, and down this, across this bridge. Or we could do this house. Oh, let's do this house. There we go. Weird pillars. Yeah. Now, this this is like a wood elf style. I'm not too sure about it because there's a lot of stone used. Yeah, that's the first thing we said, wasn't it, when we it came was, over yeah. before we started? Um, like the the actual flicks and stuff. These are definitely elven, or well, they're Nordic elven type. You know, what we call elven now. Uh, the duck, not so much. But I bet <laughs> you that's a biom thing. <laughs> it's definitely a elven, elven duck. Um, yeah. But yeah, a little bit too much stone, I think. Uh, stone, usually, especially with fantasy builds, we always think about like Nordic, um, Dwarven, that kind of style, isn't it? It's, or High Elven as well. High Elven does have a lot of stone yeah. in it, but they're almost like pure stone rather than wood. Yeah. I found a cool bed. Yeah, oh, you'd cool, be cool. happy. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, well, I'd I get stuck in that bed. Me, like, I would just never get out of bed if this was my real bed. Yeah, you would get stuck. <laughs> too much effort to get out of bed. Yeah. I think that's probably a problem <coughs> as well. I think that's changed. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, again, like roof beams, we've got the actual these type of beams, which are cool. But I think it needs a little bit more smoothening out of that that very blocky roof uh, on the inside, at least. And again, with the interiors, it's just all very open, and everything's pushed to the outside. Yeah. So I need some dividers, even if it's just the trap door dividers. You know. Mm. Oh. Let's have a look at this little wooden. If you can't tell, this is a Fletcher slash Bowman. Yep. We got that. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, it does. I actually like how they've used it in the clay clay barrel. Because I requested that of Monster ages ago. But that's actually really cool. Hmm. Cool. Wicked. And then oh. yeah, we got some... Is this, a, is this a path? I don't know. No, it's not a path. He has used a bit of puzzle. Yeah. And there's a, a saw on the floor here. So I think this is quite nice. Yeah, there's a saw there. So This is quite nice. This is a bit nicer. Mix wise, I think, but a little bit more grass layer like 31 and, and some ferns and stuff. We've got a stream, okay. So, we've got a stream here from, from a fallen tree. Is that fallen dead? Oh, that, that tree has fallen down. I'm not happy. You're not happy? Yeah, there's always a secret hidden behind a waterfall, and there's nothing. There's a sign that says there's no secret here. Uh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Oh yeah, down here. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. I'll, I'll get out your face. That's alright. So I think here, simple improvements are Enviro slabs. Yeah. I know what you think, Nick. Yeah, just simple Enviro slabs just to make it look a little bit better. Um, around here, especially on this part where you get the the water coming over. So water's quite strong on this side, so you got it blocked off with a stone, which is good. Uh, and then on this side, there isn't one, so the water would obviously spill out unless you had like an Enviro slab, which will make it look better. That's just um. That's what mm. I think. Yeah. Okay, so next bit, let's go into the next building. Yep, this yeah. is just like a barn story. Ah, okay, building. cool. So. Actually, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I think he's gone a little bit over the top with the cobweb matters, but. Yeah, I think a little bit too much fish. Especially with, like, the nets up here. Like, I know the elves and the good at climbing and stuff, but yep. still. <laughs> right, you never know. Oh, there we're stuck. Go. There we go. We're stuck now. Okay. okay. Um, I think the grain probably could have been in its own barrels, just using the trapdoors. Because grain, obviously, is... Um, you kind of want to keep it separate to your, your main straw type stuff, isn't it? Invisible glass block. I don't know what he's... I think he's maybe placing the fire and then using okay. world edit to put... Invisible glass. Glass on the other. Right, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, and then this one. Let's have a look in here. It's got a really cool chimney coming out the top. Oh, which one? That one. Yeah, just using uh, yeah. cobble walls, but it's interesting shape. That is interesting shape. I like that. It's not just a straight up one. That's cool. Uh, oh, oh, Nick, 
Come back oh. outside. Oh no. Come back. Oh, what, what's going on here with this stone? stone <laughs> uh, that... this? Oh, it's on. It's on dirt grass. It, that dirt would just collapse under the weight. Yeah, just, bam. There you go. Problem solved. In fact, just grab my stick and then boom. That's better. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Improving life. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, I think um, this this as well. It feels a bit Skyrim, like open, because Skyrim has really open houses. Which is yeah. Done with a little divider, especially with this pillar. There's a pillar downstairs, which would have worked really well for it. No, you said uh, that as well. With like just the general shape and size yeah. of it, very Skyrim like. It is, it is, isn't it? Actually. Yeah, I'll consider changing this to Nordic, and then just mm -hmm. doing a few changes, and I think this will be better. Yeah. I don't think it's. I don't think it's suitable for Wood Elf. No, I do like this chimney though. This absolute monster of a chimney that's just really... That's another walls. really cool design. That is really cool. So this is just a mix. Okay, that's so we've, just, good. we've established this guy's good at chimneys, though. He's good at chimneys, yeah. He's the chimney master. <laughs> um, but then again, there's a lot of like grass and leaves and stuff growing up, which is really nice. And let's have a look down this river. I'll follow this river down. That's all. Uh, here you've got a little fish trap. Okay. No that's trolls under the bridge? No? Okay. No. But that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, does it actually go anywhere or just... It just goes off the plot, but... Uh, why is the water dropping down from there? Uh, I'm confused by the flowy direction. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's down there. I think it goes down that way, but that's kind of cool. One thing I did just notice, though. You fly upwards. Ah, there you go. There you are. Down here... Well. Detail stops. <laughs> ah. Look, it's a little yeah. bit. So it could have done with extra details on this part, just continuing it on, and that would have been really wicked. Just the continued on. Oh. Even just rash. Oh no. No. Nope. Damn it, Luxy. Uh, do not disturb. <laughs> Luxy just tried calling me on Skype. Ah, okay. That's not enough. Uh, oh well. There you go. So yeah, it looks really cool. I'll just put a big black screen over that side part of it. I've just gone to do not disturb. I've just... Ah, yeah. Skype. <laughs> That's all right. And there's a burnt house or some sort of jungly wood house, which actually is quite cool. It's like a tree's just whacked Yeah, it's like a, an overgrown... Overgrown one. It's got coal blocks, so I'm going to assume it was set on fire. Yeah. And I think someone lost a life. A couple of people, I think, two. Two? Two, yeah. Uh, they had that river right next to them with the water and they couldn't save themselves. <laughs> I would just jump. I would just get out, even if you'd smack your head on that bit. Just jump into mm -hmm. that tiny little stream. I've just noticed as well, these skulls are sort of on top of the roof that collapsed. So, were they like walking along oh. the roof? The roof caved in. Ah, you <laughs> see. Nick's got it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, that's, that is correct. Apart from that, it's kind of cool though. But there we go. Um, yeah, I think that's it from us guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to both of us. Uh, we're going to try and do a lot more of these together, aren't we, Nick? Yeah, uh, got so a yeah. lot to go through. you got a lot to go through. So um, there'll be quite a lot of these uh, coming up soon. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.